Aloha all, thanks for joining me today. Jackie here, creating a card using the Stampin' Ups. Nothing better than a photopolymer set. It's a um, clear set, stamp set. Using also the Love You More Than Dies, using the word coffee. I uh, have a cardstock here using crumb cake. This was cut at five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter, and then I cut off one and a quarter inches at the end there. Let's go ahead and burnish our score line. Have another piece of crumb cake, cut it at uh, two and three quarters by five and a quarter, and I already ran that through the checks and dots embossing folder and I use the checkerboard uh, crumb I'm uh, not crumb cake sorry this is early espresso already cut that out then this here white piece this is cut four by five and a quarter this is a half inch by one and a half inches that's for stamping and yeah let's get our stamping done we will be using early espresso and crumb cake ink Let's get the early espresso uh, stamped up. And this one here so it can dry. Let's stamp that and that is today is a. Today is a. Uh, and then we have the coffee cup. I'm just gonna stamp it down here towards the bottom. And I'm thinking of putting the word coffee in that space there. Yeah. And then here is the steam of our copy, coffee, coffee. Uh, what else shall we do? I want the word coffee also in the sentiment at the top on the inside and then crumb cake ink it'll be kind of day and I'm pretty sure tomorrow will be too pretty straight right This is our coffee, or color of our cup. There we go. And then there's this little star. Don't, I want it in the dark. Like that. Don't press too hard. Gentle. Like that. Mm. that's it for our stamping now we can go ahead and add in the coffee oh. I'm just gonna put little dots or the die cut yeah just gonna put little dots of glue on there Just to hold it in place. Maneuvering the fingers, the hands. Okay. Putting it down. This can go on the inside of the card. Just like that. I keep forgetting too with the with the darker colors, we gotta give them a little time to dry. Then taking this piece and I wanted to grab some linen thread. 
and wrap it around there. Maybe two times. Two times good. Got in my snaps. Then I'm gonna tie a knot and then tie a bow. Oh, but why is this so loose? Huh? There. Got it a little tighter. Then I'll tie a knot. My fingers are like not really working, yeah? Did you see fumbling all over each other? And then let's tie a bow. Oh, my nail creased that one there. There we go. Trim a little. Right? You guys are telling me, trim some of that off, Jackie. It's too long, your tails. Take this here, and I'm going to put some dimensional. One on each side. Tiny, yeah? So just one on each side, one on each end. And just put them right up here. Try to get it straight, y'all. And then, should we put pop this up too? Let's see. Yeah. Let's pop this up too. Why not, y'all? Ink all over the fingers. I didn't need that many. Okay, taking off the backing. This is actually my second uh, recording because I recorded it portrait and not landscape. There we go. Okay, and then I do want to grab some rhinestones. Take your pick tool, right? I got to put the rhinestones on. Put one there. And two up here. I like that. Oh, well, you guys like that? There we have it, guys. Today is a... Uh, coffee kind of day and I'm pretty sure tomorrow will be too. What do you guys think? Quick and easy. Love it. Love it. Thanks for joining me today to order Stampin' Up! products. Please visit my online store. It's linked in the description of this video. Uh, don't forget to like this video by giving a thumbs up and subscribing. Come back again soon. Bye!